You might think that Salome Jerry is clearing grass from her compound, but she is actually collecting raw materials to make flour. Jerry is among a group of four students at Kabarak University in Kenya's Rift Valley region who have come up with a way to turn the grass into flour. That flour can replace maize in the common Kenyan dish, ugali, at a time when many families are struggling with the high cost of living. Considering the prices of maize flour, which is the staple food in Kenya, it has actually raised with above 50 percent and we find that most people cannot be able to afford. Hence we found a way out in which we can be able to make sure that food is actually affordable to each and every human being. Eco starch flour is made by converting grass to edible flour through enzymatic processes. The students have mostly been using Bermuda grass but say any species of grass can work. We cannot eat grass, right? But a cow can eat grass and digest it. So we found a way in which you can now convert the cellulose in grass, that is the bit you can digest, to become now starch, edible starch, using enzymatic transformation, using enzymes, so that we can get something that is similar to maize. The harvested grass is cleaned and dried at room temperature to preserve nutrients. Next, it is ground into powder and then enzymes are added at specific temperatures for coloration. The mixture is then fortified with micronutrients and ready for human consumption. Kenya is among the sub-Saharan African countries experiencing a lambing food crisis. The World Food Programme says the number of people in urgent need of food assistance in the country has risen sixfold since 2020 to 4.4 million in February. Henry Kiplagat, the vice chancellor of Kabarak University, believes investing in innovation can help in solving the hunger situation. Actually, most of the innovations in the world uh, produced by young people, um, the age of university going students. You hardly, it's very difficult to get a hundred year old man or woman coming up with a new idea. So this is the future of, of the world and we need to invest in them by setting aside resources to support their innovative work. With the increasing threats from climate change and shocks on global supply chain systems, experts say African countries like Kenya should have homegrown solutions to the continent's food shortage problem. We can be able to come up with uh, solutions that have been well researched upon and, and done so by researchers in our own country to be able to look at um, the safety of these products and uh, work out uh, the production uh, costs so that we are able to produce products um, at rates that are relatively low. After three years of research and trials, EcoStarch innovators are hoping to get a nod from authorities and get their product on the market. And by selling at a price five times lower than the average market price of maize flour, these student innovators hope to help less privileged families get ugali back on their dinner tables, albeit from grass. Mm -hmm. Let's have a test. Juma, Majanga, VOA News, Kabarak University, Kenya. It tastes like a gun. Mm.